Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Life in the Wrist. Hope you all are doing well today. The holidays are upon us. We are going into that season where we're spending time with our friends and family. And oftentimes, gifts giving is part of some of our traditions during this holiday and festive season, um, no matter what you're really celebrating. It's a time where we can reflect on the past year, look forward to the new year, and perhaps start the new year off with um, with a new, uh, a new, new thing to add to our, um, I guess if you're a watch collector, your collection, or end the year on a high and celebrate what you've accomplished. But oftentimes it's very difficult for you to figure out <laughs> what to actually buy um, someone as a gift. And if you know a watch collector, it oftentimes is hard to figure out what you want to buy that person related to the hobby that they love so much. And so I'm gonna go over a couple of suggestions of gifts that I think would be great for a collector or someone who's a watch enthusiast. There's a lot of this um, content online, but I thought I'd give my own spin to it. Nobody give you some ideas about what you can give to your friend who is a watch nut. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing that you can do is really simply get the individual watch. Now I know it sounds really, really obvious, um, but it's a, it's a pretty easy one to, to, to land on. The one thing that I caution you here with is getting someone a, a watch is, um, can be a very uh, problematic uh, decision. You really want to make sure that you understand the taste, of the taste of the person and understand what they're really looking for before you end up buying the watch because you don't want to get them a watch that they really don't like um, and a watch that maybe is not going to be interested they're not going to be interested in, uh, in wearing or adding to their collection so I would say if you're going to get the individual watch make sure you know what's the next piece on their wish, wish, wish list or you understand their tastes well enough to be able to buy them something that really fits in with their collection or the aesthetic of the types of watches that they really like um, I'll pull out a few Rolex Datejust, really easy, um, really easy one. Um, it's classic, and basically everyone likes to wear these. It's a great example that you can go to, but you could also go to something a little bit more funky. This is my uh, memo cell automatic, which is a prototype of the automatic movement put in these memo cells. So those are some examples of, of things you can buy. But again, I caution you, and I say, um, no. Uh, the tastes and aesthetics of the person before you think about buying them a watch, especially when it comes to a gift, because you can spend a range of, of money on this on this gift, and so you don't want to end up wasting this opportunity. The next thing I wanted to go to is mechanical objects. Now I know this sounds kind of strange, but if you are into the vintage watch market or you like vintage watches, there are some really cool objects that have watches integrated into them. Now, I'm not really talking about clocks, I'm talking about actual objects. I was recently um, on Instagram and I saw a really cool um, walking stick that had a, uh, a watch movement and dial on the handle of the, um, in, it, that was, into, it was in, uh, put into the handle of the walking stick, which I thought was really cool. There was also a really amazing um, ring that had a watch movement and dial on the ring itself. These are little objects that can combine the love that this person or the person you're gifting this, giving this gift to has for mechanical, mechanical and, and timekeeping devices with kind of cool uh, abnormal objects that wouldn't really have clocks in them. You can also find really cool desk clocks. There's some from, uh, if you look at uh, Bulova has some really cool just desk clocks you can kind of put out that are fairly inexpensive and you can find um, that are that are a nice little vintage touch to someone's maybe office or um, or bedroom. So I, I recommend thinking about um, those types of objects as well as gifts. The next one I'm going to discuss is straps. I think straps is probably one of the most recommended watch uh, gifts for a watch lover. There are there is, but the reason why I wanted to talk about uh, straps is I still do think that there's some validity in in getting someone a strap with with uh, for for as a gift um, it allows them to mix and match the styles of their watches you can get something like this which is a little bit more casual 
Um, you can also get the individual a NATO strap, which can go with a lot of different pieces that they have. I'm also very partial to rubber straps. So if you're interested in, um, if, if your, your collector wears sportier, um, sportier watches, a rubber strap is always a great way to go. Um, the one thing I would recommend though, is make sure that you're getting the strap from a place that produces high quality straps. If you're thinking about buying something that's, uh, if you're thinking about buying a leather strap, ensure that the quality of the construction of the, the strap is um, high so that it can really last um, the uh, collector a long time um, to, to be able to enjoy it and, and really, um, you know, mix and match with their watches but wear it for a long time instead of just wearing it a couple times and then it breaking on them. Um, next is a watch roll. This is obviously great for a collector if you're looking for, um, if, if you're, if you're friend has multiple watches and they do a lot of traveling or just need something to store a watch in. A watch roll like this is really great. You can pick these up for fairly affordable prices, but you can also find some of very high quality. Again, similar to the straps, I recommend getting um, watch rolls that are of high quality um, so that it can last them as much as possible. Um, I'm trying to make this uh, brand agnostic because I do think um, calling out one brand over another is, is um, you know, I think that's for you to to to, um, to figure out. But you can get something like this, where which has um, has these rolls that you can basically put a watch on. But you can also get something that's a little bit more, um, a little bit different. So you can get something like this, which basically has um, flaps where you can put your watches on into, and um, just another way of sort of housing housing your watches. Again. High quality is what I recommend. You can find something like this with, with really high quality leather that's um, super luxurious. And again, you want it to last the person a long time so that they can enjoy it for the longevity of their, of their time. The next gift idea that I have is a watch book. I've covered tons of books this year. Um, I think it's one of the best ways for you as a collector to get educated on watches and learn as much as possible about um, a brand that you love, a complication that you love, or the history of timekeeping just in general. A, the collector that you're buying this for will really love it. I recommend going for something either that is um, brand agnostic and shows all kinds of different brands in the book, or going really deep and buying someone a, a, a book that it goes deep on one specific brand. I recent, I on the channel I've gone through a Rolex book that is a perfect gift it's um, not super expensive, but has a lot of information in it and is a nice gift to give someone um, during this time. So check out some of our other videos where we've covered books on this on our, on our YouTube channel. You can also go to our website and go to the editorial section of our website. We've got articles on all the books that we've covered this year. Watch art is another thing that you can, um, you can, uh, you can consider as a gift. Now, I... When you think about this, it could be something as, as simple as just a picture of one of their favorite watches. There's tons of artists out there that have taken images of um, images of watches. You can imagine it being just a face-on image, but it can also get a little bit more artsy. It's a great thing to give someone because they can hang it up in their office or in their room and uh, enjoy the sight of, of one of their favorite pieces. Again, know the person and what they like because, again, art is a very personal thing uh, to, to, to someone. You can also find things that are a little bit more artistic. I, for example, have an image. I have a, I have a piece of art over on my, on my right. I'll take a picture of it so I can put it over this video, but it's essentially um, taking the royal oak and putting it into the stump of a tree, uh, can, you know, an oak tree. So it's another great example of something that you can buy someone who can, and you can enjoy it. Uh, your, your collector friend might enjoy putting up in their, in, in their, wherever they spend their time. Um, mechanical art is the next kind of category that I would I would um, describe this topic or this category can kind of range from all kinds of things there are some really cool artists out there who have taken um, parts of watches and created incredible uh, works of art with them it's kind of like an art piece that's made out of watches um, you can find things from shoes that are constructed out of um, watch parts to motorcycles. There's a really cool MBNF disc um, of watch parts that kind of floats 
and spins. Um, so to, to find this kind of art, I, I just recommend you search going to Google and searching art made out of watch parts and a ton of stuff will come up and probably give you some inspiration on the type of thing you could give someone. But there's also other parts of, of mechanical art that can kind of come into play here. I'll show you something that I recently got, which was um, this is the uh, Loop System MBNF rocket ship that has these really cool compartments here and then has these loops that are located inside of it. Um, this is another piece of mechanical art that you can probably get a collector who would enjoy um, something like this. So I'm going to be doing an in-depth video on that, that the Loop System rocket in second very, very soon. But that's another example of something that you can get. Um, I know I'm supposed to be brand agnostic, but I will give a shout out to MBNF because they do focus on some of this stuff. So if you go to their, the MBNF eShop, you can find um, some pretty cool objects <clears throat> that might give you inspiration on things you might want to get your um, the, the person you're buying this gift for. The last thing, and this is a this is a fairly common thing to suggest, but I recommend looking at uh, cufflinks with movements in them. There are some. Um, some uh, artists out there that have taken small mechanical movements and put them into a cufflink. Now, many of us probably don't wear cufflinks every single day. We're not really in that type of environment. To be honest, I would say the world is trending away from it, but it would be cool for your collector friend or whoever you're buying this for to be able to pull out a, cuff, a pair of cufflinks that demonstrates their, their passion for watchmaking. Um, when they have to pull out a tuxedo or they need cufflinks in some way. So I do think this is a cool suggestion for a gift and you can find these at very uh, affordable but also very expensive prices. So I think this is a pretty approachable gift as well. I hope this video gave you some suggestions on what you can buy a person who might be interested in watches as a gift. Um, I hope that you find something that you'll love and that the individual will love. At the end of the day, it really mattered. What really matters is um, is the fact that uh, you thought about this person, you thought about their passion for watches and tried to buy them something that they're going to enjoy. Um, and it really shows that you're trying to be a part of the passion that they have. So um, kudos to you for thinking of for thinking of them and trying to focus their gift on something they love. Um, let me know if there are any gifts that you think I missed during this video. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. If you want to read more about these gifts, you can go to the, my, uh, the Life on the Wrist website and go to the editorial section. There's an article about these if you want to check that out. If you are new to Life on the Wrist, be sure to subscribe to the channel and share this with a friend who might be interested in watches. If you wouldn't mind liking this video, it really does help me out. With that said, guys, happy, uh, shop, happy shopping for the gift for this person that you're looking for. And until next time.